Xedit, installation and mod manager setup for multiple games. Welcome to Gamer Poets and to modding my way. Sit back, relax, and pause when needed. You got this. Installation. Open the Xedit Nexus page for the game you want to use it with. Open files. Manually download the main file. Open the archive that is downloaded. Drag and drop this folder anywhere you like, excluding program files or game folders. You can leave the folder name as is or rename it. It's up to you. Mod Organizer 2 Users Launch MO2 Modify Executables Add from File Navigate to your newly installed Xedit folder. Open it. Double-click the Xedit executable. Apply. Click the plus symbol again. Add from File. Back in the Xedit install folder, double-click the Quick Auto Clean executable. Apply. OK. When using Xedit, do so by selecting it from the Run drop-down menu. This first option is for manually editing mods. The second one is for cleaning them. Vortex Users Launch Vortex. Choose the game that you are using Xedit with. Open the dashboard. Locate the Xedit button. Click the vertical ellipsis. Edit. If there is not an Xedit button, add Tool. New. Name is whatever you like. Select the target folder. Navigate to the Xedit install folder. Open it. Double click the Xedit executable. Save. A second edition. Add Tool. New. Write the title out how you did last time, except add QAC to the end of it for quick auto clean. Select the target folder. Navigate to the Xedit install folder. Double click the quick auto clean executable. Save. Run the first option to manually edit mods. Run the second option if you want to clean them. You may need to close and reopen Vortex for this stuff to register. Game setup. If you download Xedit from the Fallout 4 page, it's going to be pre-configured for Fallout 4. You're ready to go. But say later on you want to use Xedit for, say, Skyrim. That installation you just did for Fallout 4 is not going to work for Skyrim. Here's your options. You can simply download Xedit from the Nexus page that corresponds with the game you want to use it with. Then follow the video instructions all over again for that specific game. You'll have multiple Xedit installations, but that's fine. Your second option is to go where you installed Xedit and change the name of the executable. See this list on screen? Rename the executable exactly as you see me doing, leather for leather. This executable will now work for the game it's been renamed for, or this game, or that game. The downside to doing this is you have to rename the executable every time you change games. Your last option, and what is generally recommended to do, is to open your mod manager. MO2 Users, Modify Executables, Highlight Xedit, Go to Arguments. Vortex Users, Go to Tools, Find Xedit, Vertical Ellipsis, Edit, Go to Command Line. Now, from the list that you see on screen, type out the Command Line argument for the game you want Xedit to work with. Skyrim SEAE Users, type dash SSE. Fallout 4 Users, dash FO4, Starfield, dash SF1, so forth. When you're ready, MO2 users apply, Vortex users save. Now, go back to your tool list. We want to apply that same command line argument to the quick auto clean executable. So I highlight QAC again, and from the list on screen, type dash FO3 for Fallout 3, dash test 4 for Oblivion, etc. When ready, Vortex users save, MO2 users apply, and OK. Now when you launch either of these Xedit executables, they will open for the game whose argument you applied. What you titled Xedit in your mod manager doesn't matter. It's simply a headline for you to know what's what. Feel free to change it at any time to better organize your tools. What's important is this. Xedit isn't working. Check your antivirus to make sure it's not being blocked. Google it. They are all at least a little bit different. You can also whitelist the app on Windows itself I show how to whitelist on my Tips Before You Mod video, which I have linked. Thanks for hanging out with me. More X-Edit and other modding videos to come. See you then.